Hey, what's up guys? Uh, today we're doing a video on my Mercedes Sprinter van. I've gotten a bunch of questions, uh, a lot of people wanting a van tour. A lot of people come to me at the races and ask to see inside of it, so I uh, figure why not do a YouTube video about it. Um, so yeah, this is my 2014 Mercedes Sprinter. It's uh, like a light gray. It's actually pretty cool. A lot of people have white vans, uh, so it's cool I got a gray one, but this is actually my second one. My first one I had, uh, I ended up crashing it. So I was vanless for a couple months, and then uh, we found this one at a dealership. It was used and got it uh with just over a hundred thousand miles uh some some guy i guess turned it in uh when the warranty wore, uh, wore off so this is my uh this is my van so follow me okay so there's really not much besides it's just a van uh but we got the wheels on here uh the tires they're the bf good rich all terrains uh the ko2s um with the method wheels are the 17 inch upgraded ones uh, the stock ones are 16s, so helps the van go a little faster, looks better. I told myself I wasn't going to do it until I won my first pro race, and I'm winning a couple Pro 2 National Enduros last year, so uh, went ahead and pulled the trigger on them. Makes the van look way better, and uh, yeah, it just kind of completes the whole package. That's really it besides uh, a couple dings in the doors. It's a workhorse. Um, you guys can't really tell, but I have a roof air. My windows we got the limo tent keep it as cool as we can in there especially in florida but uh yeah let's have a look on the inside Switch it up now. so with it being a moto van uh this is very rare that it's this clean but uh like i said roof air uh, it's got heating and cooling. Luckily, my dad's a uh, madman, so he was able to install this. And uh, yeah, big shout out to my dad. He basically helped me do everything that you see in this van. So the one thing about van builds is when you build them out uh, and you use them and utilize them, you start thinking of better, more efficient ways uh, to do things and put plate, put things places. Um, up here we have uh, the light switch and the lights are just wired in uh, directly to the uh, uh, the van battery. We don't have an auxiliary battery on this anymore. Uh, that's like a long story, but this is a switch for the radio. So we have speakers in the back just for when we're hanging out the track or whatever. This is just a utility switch um, for whatever we wanna wire in next. Um, personally, I'd rather my lights be right here for when we open up the door, we don't gotta climb in. Um, especially if we're trying to get something on the floor when it's dark. Um, but moving, moving backwards, I guess we just have shelves to put things, camera equipment. Uh, I got my hats. Things don't really have its place up here. It's just kind of more for storage, but we got these bins with some cycling gear, food storage, camera equipment, more camera equipment. I kind of know just knowing like things sticking out of the top or just grabbing them and, uh, just leave them for Taylor too back up and I'm done with them so typical so this is our little closet area obviously more storage got our uh like first aid and stuff here lotions closet uh we got a million and one hangers we got random stuff just flailing out of here things that hang jackets and such uh, we finally added like a shoe storage so as you can see we can just put shoes in here easy access uh, a couple baskets for whatever heart rate monitors just really anything um the couch funny story about the couch it's a jackknife couch so you just lift up on it and it comes out uh we have a cover on it because when i went to order it uh i was being cheap and for a hundred dollars more i could have had leather couch and i don't really know the difference so it's like a uh, fabric it's uh, kind of crappy so we just have a bed sheet over it. It's kind of better, it keeps it clean. But live and learn. Um, it was about $1,000 uh, 
And so for like $1,100, I could have got a leather couch. Like, I don't know why I cheaped out, but um, it is what it is. Like I said, when you do van build outs, your next one, you uh, you always think about what can be better. So yeah, it's just part of it. Underneath the couch, uh, we have a little bit of storage. So we got a yoga mat, the stove top, tripod, some cooking essentials. So we just have a bin with all of our cooking supplies. Luckily we don't have to use it too much, but if we do, we have it here. Okay, so that's it for the front. Work our way to the back. Uh, so when I bought the van, it has these uh, dings in it from previous owner. And I actually had a gouge in this panel, but my buddy, he uh, helped me bondo it. And then um, we got someone to paint it. So it's like brand new in the back. This is uh, this is the garage portion of it. Uh, we have lights back here as well. So when I'm hooking up the power, we have uh, two outlets right here, one on this side, one on the other side. Um, for the flooring, we have like the coin rubber flooring. It's pretty heavy duty. And really, we just take a rag, wipe it off. Good as new. Um, jump on here. So when we were building the van out, we wanted the sides to be durable, so we got diamond plate. Um, just for handlebars, you can see there's already scuffs on it, and I didn't want that wood, and I didn't want the carpet to be anywhere close to where any fumes could get gas filling or whatever. So we put that on there. Um, here's the speakers that the radio that hooks up to the radio in the front. Um, have a vent fan for the exhaust fumes, gas, whatever. A little bit safer that way. Along with this is, uh, so we have the umbrella. What's actually cool about this is my buddy who builds vans down in Florida, he showed me this trick. You just take uh, this, these Velcro strips, cut them to your length, screw them into the roof, and then you just Velcro it to itself and it's secure. So I got my wash brush. My, my broom and then uh, yeah my hooks for my helmets I was just added those a couple months ago uh, shelf for whatever you want to put up there we did used to keep the helmets up here yeah so but we, not anymore we kept the helmets up here I never had these hooks but then I was wasting all this space so I hook my helmets here now and other stuff like this uh, leaf blower and uh, I just put goggles or whatever up here. I do see the clipboard right now. Yeah, other than that, that's pretty much it. You don't really need anything too crazy. Yeah, I mean, I got a good deal on it and we built it on ourselves. So yeah, life on the road. And uh, it's pretty cool having a van to race in. So yeah, as you can see, we're, we're wearing the merch today, I'm trying to get some more merch sales. So head over to jessianzy.com. We have a special going on 25% off. So uh, buy some merch so we can keep this thing on the road. <laughs> Bounce it the pop, 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 p